Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork. Just going to show you where I'm up to with these, um, I'll just pop the light on, um, with these um, journals. I've done a bit to the, quite a bit to these and I've got left the blue one for us to do bits together. So I'll just quickly flip through and show you where, where, at, where I'm at. So the front cover, and our little pocket at the side that we did. A bit of vellum. The yellow paper I've actually stenciled onto that. And then I've made a little flip out journaling space. And I might do a bit of stenciling on that part as well. Um, it was just about putting these in, made the bits of ephemera in. I had a day at the craft shop, so I had to. I just played while I was uh, waiting for customers to come. Okay, and then I just popped a little um, card under that lace. I thought it just added a little bit of extra interest to it, to the page. And you've got your journaling under there, both on this and the. <coughs> excuse me, on the um, coffee stain paper. And on, a, on the back of that book page, I did some stenciling as well. Graph paper there. No, no. And then I've haven't actually stitched these, but I'm going to stitch these onto the page. Back this with coffee paper, and then I did some stenciling there. I did a bit of stenciling here. Um, this one, I think I'm going to look for a doily to go on there. I'll show you the one in the pink book that I did. And then just mat that on a bit of white, I think, and pop that in there. And then I've got this ready to go in here, in the, in the middle of the signature. <coughs> Pardon me. These are a couple of cards that I've sh I showed a while ago, and I thought they sort of go well with the theme, so, and so does this, so we'll probably use those somewhere through um, the stenciling and the pocket and I put a little piece of the lace from the front cover I thought that sort of worked in very well same same thing back here this um, I'm going to do I'll show you in the other pink one I've got a little flip piece in there so I'll show you that in a minute a little bit of collage and I did this to the pockets. I made a big pocket, a big tag, I mean. <clears throat> and then I made three smaller ones that go into the pockets. So I think that's what we'll do today. It's just a bit of collage work um, onto the tags to go into, the, into that pocket. And I've just glued it on three sides to tuck in. Just did a bit of um, straw paper with a bit of a flip up that you can journal on the back of that. Put the, and then I'll, I'll probably do a bit of stamping or a um, paper clip up there perhaps. And then that's that one. So that's the yellow one that we have um, done. <coughs> so this one's very similar, except I've finished, <coughs> excuse me, um, the tag. And then these are two that I'd done previously. So I, I've just popped them for the time being in there. I'm not sure. I might pin them to a page. A bit of stenciling. And there's a flip on that one. It just flips out and I've stamped on that. As you can see, I've still got a bit more to do in the other one. Um, time at the shop was a bit... Actually, it was good, but the, the, um, there wasn't any customers, which was very sad. But there were a lot of the girls just popped in and out, which was lovely. And I popped a um, picture there, journaling underneath, and I stenciled on that one. And I did the stenciling in pink on this one, and I did it on um, in the vintage photo on the other one. I want to keep this plain, but then I want to do something to it, so I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll get there to that one. Little pocket there, and I'll stitch that on. That's what I've got to do in the yellow one. I won't do that on camera. 
and then I just put a little rose up the top there. Yeah. And this one I made the pockets, um, I just doilies on um, music paper first, doilies, a bit of um, gauze uh, tag and a little piece of um, lace. And then I stenciled a uh, butterfly onto the pocket. I don't know if you can see the, probably not, but it's it's got Winker Stella I popped over the top to make a little bit shiny and I'll pop some um, eyelash trim on the top of the pocket, um, eyelets, in the eyelets. Um, this one I sewed around and then popped it on and I should have not sewn the side. Then that could have been a little tuck as well, but we live and learn. This one I did a little pocket and I just did a collage tag in for that. Um, and that one sewn around a little um, <coughs> um, altered playing card that I did quite a while ago, a tutorial on. Um, stenciling. And this little one, it looks all fluff, it's beautiful. So I, I did the same, collaged onto those. Even I'm pulling the wrong fluff. <laughs> and that one, it's quite cute. I sort of looked at the front and thought, well, there's the little kids. And then I looked at that one and I thought, oh, that's the mum and dad. <laughs> and another little one. I just love the way they, uh, it all came together. It's um, You sort of start off with an idea and you're not sure how it's going to work out, are you? But um, I think it worked out pretty good. Well, I'm happy with it and that's the main thing. Um, and there, this is what I think we'll do today. Um, that flips up, and that flips down. You've got all that journaling space. Um, Gail Agostinelli does these. And then I just put a little strip of um, the cardstock, um, well, the paper, and I put it on a bit of cardstock just to um, lift it up a little bit so that it could tuck in. And, that, and I just did a little collage piece here just to um, paper clip onto the um, page and the vellum and our little booklet. Okay, so the blue one, we're not as far ahead with this one. Um, we've got the pockets, so I need to do the three-fold on that one. So we'll do that one first. If I move that up, I'll know where this came from. And I need some coffee dyed paper. I, don't, I think I ran out yesterday. And that's why I had to stop and not go on. Just get these out. So I've got Mrs. Cog's Blue in the Garden that I'm using for quite a bit of this one. And <clears throat> piece of paper, piece of scrapbook paper, I think that one, yeah. So you really don't need to um, measure. Um, they can be whatever size you like. Um, I just um, used the scraps for this part of it. Um, I really love this lady, but she's got such a red, red face. I don't know if it's my printer that did that or whether it's it was in the um, kit like that. So we won't be using her, I don't think. Uh, let's see. A, a 
something that little girl might fit on there nicely. And just rip her out and um, and then I can cut her down to size. This is just on ordinary copy paper. Uh, I haven't done anything. Any, um, I've got some that I've done on my matte paper. But this I just, um, when I collage or do, um, work like this, I just, um, sorry, I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to fold that over. Um, yeah, so I just um, print it on copy paper if I'm going to collage or um, stick it onto something like that. So I'll just trim a fraction off there. So this will just be glued on the back on here. And I might actually turn it over so we've got that on the inside. Yeah. And then I'm just going to work out how I want her on there. And yeah, I think that'll go well. So I'll just <coughs> use my um, glue stick, glue the front part of that down. So these are quick and easy little um, embellishments to go on a page. And like I said, you can use them, uh, do any size that you want. They don't have to be small. They can be the full page if you want to. There's no reason that you can't um, do it like that. I'll just get my little... I won't be filming or doing anything on Saturday, as Friday today, so I'll be um, picking the winner of the um, giveaway soon. Um, but my grandkids will be coming on Saturday. Joe, my daughter, plays a netball grand final, so we're watching the kids. And the poor little things, so two and three and a half, uh, one and two and a half, uh, three and a half, and they've got foot and mouth disease. And they went to a birthday party, and two of the parents decided not to keep their kids at home that had it. And so all the kids, <coughs> pardon me, all the kids that were at the party have basically, um, got this foot and mouth and it's quite contagious um, there's no treatment for it it's just got to run its course it's a virus so it just runs its course but it you know poor little ones they've got little ulcers in their mouths and oh, so uh, sad little fella's got a sore bottom and, oh. so we've got them all day on Saturday so um, I won't be out here playing I'll be playing with them, which is nice. So. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to be using glue to um, go around the edges of things in the blue journal. Um, quite often I just use the vintage photo, but because they've themed, I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll use the, the, um, the colour of the theme to do the distressing. So that's the cover of that little one, and that'll just pop on there. So all we need now is to glue the back of that.
and because it's going to have a little bit of wear and tear <coughs> pardon me I'm just going to run a bead a bead of glue just around the edge it's probably not necessary but it just gives me peace of mind that it's going to stay and not um, come off the page <coughs> and then and then I mean you can put it wherever but I'm just going to center it as best I can I eyeball it and there we go Smooth it out. And there we go. And it probably would be nice. Let me. I've got a stencil from um, Kerry. At which craft do you do? Um, I'll link that below. Um, I might just do a little bit of yeah, it's a garden it will look nice a few little butterflies flying through yep. might do a couple down the bottom too <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Hope I'm not catching their little, their little bug. Adults can get it. So we'll be hibernating for a while, I think. There we go. So that goes. In there. Oh, that looks a bit cute. So then, um, we might do this. So I've backed it all, um, it's just book pages, two, two thicknesses of book page and I've got the um, um, big one to go behind and then the three others to go in the pockets. Now, um, Some of them are a bit, when you cut them, the uh, glue comes undone. I don't usually worry because I'm going to stitch them as well. So, so that goes there, yep. Okay, now we've got some music page. Start off with, I usually start off and I grab something, whether it be like music or, and I try to do them reasonably quick. Um, don't think about it too much. Um, I think that is, is the real secret with um, collage. Um, the more you think about it, um, obviously the longer it's going to take and the more confused you get about what you um, want to put on there. So, um, so it's easier not to think about it. Well, that's, that's how I feel anyway. That will go down the bottom there. Then we'll have a piece 
across the let's just pop that one up there and that one down there so we've got a little bit of a bit of room so once I get it all laid out there we'll just work on one there and then I think we'll have this down the side like so now it's blue so I just want I think I might use a bit of the scrapbook paper inside there um, we might go down the side there a little bit there and this one can go across the bottom there um, then we might get some of the Somehow we'll incorporate that onto that one. Um, it's something with just a little bit of grass or whatever it is down the bottom there, across the bottom of that one. These are just beautiful images that Mrs. Cobbs finds for us. She does all the work, she looks up the, um, the photos and makes sure they're copyright and just, um, just so nice to be able to use them and know that all that copyright is, um, it's all okay. Okay. And so this one we might use over here on this one somehow. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to use these flowers somehow. That one. And um, and that one. Girl's still got a red face on that one, but it must be in the picture. Okay, we'll see how that goes on that one. And this one might end up okay. So I'll just pop these out of the way for a minute. We might get them all done, we may not. We'll just see how the time, time goes. pop them over to the side okay so I just start and away I go just like um, I was watching uh, Rachel the other day and she said um, put your first piece of paper down and then 
you go from there. If you end up you don't like that first piece of paper that you've put down there, cover it up. Um, and music paper to me is a really good base. You can always have a little bit of music showing through and it, it, um, it looks really effective um, on your page. So we'll, we'll really come right over on that one just there. <clears throat> and I am on camera, aren't I? I hope so. Yes. Okay. So this one we'll put down the bottom, and uh, like I said, I'm going to use um, blue to to distress a little bit. Hope everyone's well. Fighting fit. No hassles. It's a nice day here. The wind's blowing a bit. He was a bit annoyed. He was going to um, spray our fruit trees. They've just started to blossom, and as the, his father used to say, as soon as the first buds appear, away you go and start flower, uh, start um, spraying. So I think he can hear. Fred saying, get out there boy, spray those trees, but it won't be happening today, it's too much wind, it'll end up all the neighbours will get the benefit from it and not us, so, in the where, buried in the fucking mulberry, in the, mo in the blueberry bush, yeah. oh god, we were looking for our dog grooming comb and it uh, looks like Mara's put it in the uh, mulberry, uh, the blueberry pot. <laughs> you never know where you're going to find it. I've got a meerkat that's got, um, it's a um, solar one and uh, I looked out there today and it's got the sun hat on it. <laughs> She's been here, love her. Oh, I just love those kids. They just bring you so much joy. Okay, so there's that. Now, do we use the flower or do we use... I think I like the flower. Let's see how it looks anyway. I'm just slowly tear around the edges and see how we go. Heater off. Um, let me just. I've got this little template I've made, and it's got different sizes. So when I um, make a tag, I can just pop it onto paper and just snip. I mean, you can just snip where you feel you. Um, you need to and then you know take this little piece and put it on the other side but this is just a lot easier for me okay so I just want something behind it I think I might have a look and see if I can find a doily perhaps I mean, I know we're not going to see the blue, but I like the rest of it. Like I said, 
said, I'm not going to think too much. I like the look of that. And then um, just a little label at the bottom. And I did have... Is it going to be... Yeah, it might be too much in the blue. Let's see if we can get the, the little green one right here. How's that? How's that? Okay, so... Just a little bit around the edge, just to give it a bit of definition on the page. And I just want to go because I'm not going to, I'm not going to cover that up too much. I just, um, luckily the book page was um, had that blue, t uh, uh, the the it was just a plain book page there. So I'm going to glue this one on. The dogs are off. Just going to put a little bit of the blue onto that tag just to bring it all into the on the, the label. I've done these on sticker paper. So don't think I've got um, blue eyelash trim. I know I've got a white or a creamy colour. Perhaps I might need to um, dye some. And get my spray out and see if it works. That could be fun. be fun couldn't it? I might just do that and you can see whether it works or not. Like I said this is all going to be sewn around eventually. Hmm I like that. And all I do then is put the hole in, eyeball it, and that's just a bit wet there, but we won't worry about that. The eyelet's going to go in there. Which one will we use? The lighter blue? I've got these, we are memory keepers, little eyelets. I got them when Kazaz was, they had all their colours, but I haven't got them anymore, so yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? Now when you do this, can you see the little pokey bit on top? That always, for me, on top. Squeeze it down and you always get a nice little back on it. So if you remember, male, female, on top. Okay. So there we go. Let me just see if I've got some eyelash trim. We've got white. Let's see if we can dye that. <clears throat> now, 
hope this is going to work. You can see that? Yep. And I've just got the Tim Holtz Distress Weathered Wood. This is what I did the um, um, the lace with. So I think that's going to work nicely, isn't it? And it will have a little, a couple of little bits of white showing through there, perhaps to give it a... Hmm. Okay. Yucky fingers. I have got gloves, but I never use them. I always forget. Same as when I was nursing, I was never a gloves person. Just close your ears for a second and we'll see how... Turned out really nicely. So. Really happy with that. And I've got plenty of white, so and I've got plenty of the distress ink, so seven minutes so we might just be able to do this one and then I might do another video I'll start another video to continue on so then I just grab a piece like that doubled Oops. and I just lay that across the you watch it won't work for me this time I lay it across like that then I get my pokey tool and flick those, oh, it's going to flick those pieces through. Now you can grab it like that, but I like to tie it in a knot and that way you have four pieces really, um, a nice length, shortish length. Don't pull that one. Yep. Oh, golly me. Fingers, fingers, fingers. There we go. Like that. And then again. Painful, isn't it, watching this? <laughs> there you go. And there's our big tag. And that will fit on the page behind there so that looks nice popping out of there and that's just tones in well okay so we might leave it there um, I didn't realize we were it was so long um, and I will start the video again and we will do the other three okay so thank you for watching we'll see you in part two bye for now